Hello folks, this is Ian Steele, University of Ottawa Emergency Medicine. In this video I'm going to tell you how to use the Ottawa Knee Rule for your patients. The Ottawa Knee Rule was developed through a series of studies involving many thousands of patients culminating in a successful implementation trial of 3,900 patients, a subsequent systematic review uh, showed the Ottawa Knee Rule was quite accurate uh, amongst 11 independent studies performed. The Ottawa Knee Rule is designed for people who uh, have had an acute injury in the last seven days, adults uh, with blunt trauma to the knee from any mechanism and who are alert and cooperative. The rule itself uh, has five components. Presence of any one of these criteria means the patient needs imaging, which almost always is plain radiography. So if a patient is 55 or older, if they have isolated tenderness of the patella and no other area, or they have isolated tenderness uh, of the head of the fibula, or they're unable to flex to 90 degrees, or if they prove to be unable to bear weight both immediately after the injury as well as for four steps in the emergency department. So the presence of any one of those would require the patient to have plain films. Tenderness of the patella is significant only if it's an isolated finding. It's only intended for injuries less than seven days and bearing weight counts even if the patient limps. We do not recommend use under 18 years of age, and of course, clinical judgment should prevail if the examination is unreliable because the patient is too intoxicated to cooperate. If they likewise are uncooperative due to distracting painful injuries or have diminished sensation in the legs, and these uh, exclusion criteria are very uncommon. We recommend you give written instructions to the patient and encourage follow-up in five to seven days if pain and ability to walk are not better at that time. All right, let's take the Ottawa Knee Rule to the bedside. This is Jennifer, and Jennifer fell this morning while skating on Ottawa's Rideau Canal Skateway and has a very sore knee. She hasn't tried to walk on it as yet. So we're going to review the five elements in the Ottawa Knee Rule, the first of which is that patients age 55 or older automatically require knee radiography and obviously Jennifer is much less than 55. Next uh, I'm going to assess Jennifer for two areas of bone tenderness. First of all we look for isolated patella tenderness. So, uh, Patella is very easy to examine and palpate and we see Jennifer has no tenderness. Isolated means that it's not uh, the whole area hurts including the patella. We're talking about just the patella which usually happens when you fall directly on it and fracture the patella. The second area of bone tenderness we like to assess is the proximal fibula and palpate here and again there is no tenderness. Next we're going to assess uh, active range of motion so I'm going to ask you Jennifer to bend your knee as much as you can and here we see that she can flex it past 90 degrees so Jennifer passes this criterion. Now that we know there's uh, no bone tenderness I'm going to ask Jennifer to bear weight so could you just step down onto the floor and take at least four steps and I see you're doing that very well so you have passed the walk test because you've got more than four steps and it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of limping. So we know that Jennifer is negative for all five criteria of the auto and knee rule. So that tells us that she definitely does not have a fracture. She doesn't need to hang around for imaging and you can go home now Jennifer. Congratulations.